This is the daily video update, slightly late for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is September 9th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Every month, every year, we participate in a themed worship system with, with a bunch of other congregations across the Unitarian Universalist world called Soul Matters. And so each month we have a theme both to our worship and to our small group experiences. And that theme this month is embracing possibility. Now these themes were chosen and um, some of the descriptions written prior to the current COVID situation. So some of it, um, uh, some of it fits better than others, but um, it's an exciting part of our lives together. So next week, what I'm going to do is unpack some of the the small group questions for possibility um, and, and go into what they're like for me. But for now, for today, um, I want to read the, the introductory text that Soul Matters uses to, to introduce this theme of embracing possibility. They write, of all our themes this year, embracing possibility is arguably the most central to our faith. It has distinguished Unitarian Universalists from the start. Historically, when others saw depravity and sin at the core of human identity, we saw potential. When many were preaching that this world was fallen, we fell in love with the possibility of heaven on earth. Theologically, you might say that we were the people that believed that God hadn't given up on us, and so we shouldn't give up on each other or the world. Psychologically, it's led us to being a people of why not? Why not give people another chance? Why not fight what seems a losing battle? Why not risk a little failure? So that's our religion. But what about us personally? How open have you been recently to why not? How is your faith in possibility doing? As we honor our, faith's, our religion's faith in what's possible, we need to allow space for the reality that trusting possibility isn't so easy for many of us. Here's how one Soul Matters member put the challenge. When I think of possibility, I think of all the people and opportunities we close the door on, such as, I will never see eye to eye with my sister. I couldn't possibly leave this job to start my business. I will never have close friends like I had where I used to live. I will never really make a difference, so why bother? We tell ourselves so many small stories about who we are and who others are. So many tiny tales of what the world could be. Part of it has to do with real life defeats, but often a bigger part of it is about imagined fear and protecting ourselves. There's comfort in convincing yourself that the effort is hopeless. That way you don't have to try and risk failure, hurt, or disappointment yet again. All of which is to say that maybe embracing possibility has more to do with being a people of vulnerability and courage than we've thought. The work isn't just about believing in possibility. It's about being willing to endure a few wounds along the way. It can hurt to be hopeful. So maybe the question this month isn't, are you ready to lean into possibility, but who's beside you and who are you bringing along? Who have you gathered to patch and pick you up when the path gets bumpy? Whose faith can you lean on when yours grows dim? After all, no one makes it down the road of possibility alone. We'll talk more about that in the coming weeks in worship and in these video updates. For now, though, um, have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow.